Hey guys, so I have here this hot laminator and today I want to show you how to use this device. So uh, before we start out, I'm going to turn on this laminator because it does need to heat up for a couple of minutes. And so here in this case, I turn the on switch here to the right position, to the hot position. And now you see here this green LED blinking. And as long as it's blinking, that means this laminator is heating up and we can't quite use it yet. So while we're waiting for this device here to heat up, then we can prepare here our uh, document that we want to laminate. And you see here one of these small pouches. And uh, so you have to open this up here and uh, you just do this with your fingernail and then you uh, kind of have to get in between and you see how to open this up here. And now uh, here in, the, in this example, I just use here this small piece of paper that I put right into this pouch and then I'm going to close this and now I'm making sure that I don't have any bubbles, any air bubbles here in between the uh, laminating pouch and the paper. So I'm trying to like slide the air bubbles that are in there, trying to slide those out to the sides. And now one thing that you should not do at this point is already try to cut this to size. So you see if I'm trying this here, then uh, the two layers of the uh, pouch, they don't really stick together at this point. So they're going to slide around. And when you do the full cut, then uh, it's not going to make a clean cut, clean and straight cut. See here, when you take a close look now, both the two layers uh, are kind of offset here. See, the cut was not nicely done. So uh, you should start cutting this after the laminating process. And, uh, so, and also, if you want to have like a really straight cut, instead of using scissors, maybe just use one of these uh, cutting boards here that in this case actually came with this laminator. And now we just have to wait for the laminator to be ready. So uh, the green LED has to be constantly on, just like you see now. So now in this case, we are ready to start laminating our document here. Let me pull this forward a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. And so now I just make sure again that there's no air bubbles here in between and then I just have to push this uh, laminating pouch from the front into the uh, device. And uh, when you do this, you want to make sure that you really just slowly and easily put it in until the device itself grabs it and it's going to pull on the uh, laminating pouch by itself. You don't have to push uh, to get it in there and also don't try to pull it back out. So just let it go through by itself. Just leave it just uh, alone. Don't push or pull on it and wait for it to come out on the other end. And then also here now don't just try to pull it out while it's still laminating. Just wait for it to be ready and completed and then eventually you will be able to just take it out of the slot on the back side. And now you can already see here how easy this result and this really good result is here as you see no air bubbles in between and now we can also cut this to uh, this to the uh, desired size so i can just use either my scissors to cut off uh, some of this uh, extra uh, plastic here or i'm just using here this cutting board which i think is a lot easier and a lot nicer looking because you're really getting a straight cut here I'm going to do this here with every side, with all three sides in this case. And when I'm done with it, you can see here, this is a really nice result. Uh, the only thing that I still have to uh, complain about is here the sharp edges. So these corners, you really want to make sure that you round those off so that you don't accidentally cut yourself on it. And there is here these cutters, these edge cutters, these corner cutters that you can use to uh, make a really nice round corner. And you re repeat this process here for all four corners. This is really easy, it goes really fast. And now this is also really safe, our product here. And uh, yeah, we're all ready done. Right. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, please write a comment below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up.